Welcome to another Pierce Pointer. Today we are going to go over a single arm ring row. So a lot of people do it in inverted rows with both arms, whether you're trying to just increase your pulling strength or if you're trying to get your first pull up, it's a great exercise to do. Like I said, because we are working our pulling strength, the same muscles that are needed for a pull up or if you're just trying to get your deadlift better, your weightlifting better, it's a lot of pulling, you need your pulling to be stronger. It's great exercise. All you need is your body and then either a bar, a set of ratings, a TRX, whatever you have available. So I have two rings right here. That's what I'm gonna be using. But like I said, you can use rings, you can use a TRX, you can use a bar, whatever you have access to. So I like single arm ring rows because you have to work each arm independently. It's quite a challenging exercise, but just as with any other exercise, it is scalable, you can always make it easier, you can make it harder. So no matter what level you are at, you'll be able to find an exercise or a level that works for you and that can challenge you. So basically you're just gonna use one arm, same thing as ring row, one arm, pulling yourself all the way up to your wrist to your rib, then straightening all the way back down. It's difficult, it's hard, but like I said, it will just help your pulling strength. It'll help you with your pull-ups, it'll help you with your muscle-ups, it'll help your weightlifting. It's just gonna help with a lot of different things. So, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you what one will look like. So, you have a few options to get into it. I always just like to use the other hand to get into it. If you wanna have a little challenge for yourself, try and figure out how to get into it with one arm, but I'm just gonna get straight into it. You can, I'll leave that for another day or I'll leave that up to you. So, what I'm gonna do, arms are gonna be Extended, one arm is straight, other arm's gonna be to your side, then you're just gonna start with the ring straight, then you're gonna twist it, pull it up, right, so that your wrist gets to your rib at the top. Try and keep your core tight. I don't wanna see you using your hips to pull yourself up. You should be using your biceps and your lats to pull yourself up to the row. So, if you can't quite have your feet that far out, it's a little too difficult, then you can just stand a little more upright, scoot back a little bit, the more you're at an angle, the easier it's going to be. So, if you can't go all the way down, we're just gonna slightly come back, then from here, I'll pull myself up. Like I said, that's a little bit easier because I have a little more weight on my feet. So, the further back you get, the easier it's gonna be. The more you are under your rings, the harder. Also, a little easy way to adjust is the higher the rings are up, then that's gonna make it easier as well. If the rings are lower, that's gonna make it a lot harder. So if I want it to be easier, then I can just raise my ring up so that it'd be like this high. Then there's a little more weight in your feet. So it's not quite as difficult. But with any movements, as I said it before, I'll say it again, single arm, single leg movements are great just because it isolates each one independently. I'm trying to work the strength, make sure I'm even on both sides. This arm always wants to take over for this arm. My right arm is way stronger than my left, so I'm trying to make my left arm a little bit stronger so it's less weaning when I get into workouts. Then my arms are equally fatigued and I don't rely on one more than the other. So I'm sure you have one arm that's a little bit stronger than the other, which like I said, we all do. We have an arm that we prefer. So just try and balance that out so that we are ultimately even. So this is a great exercise to do. If you're trying to get better pull-ups, trying to get your first pull-up, you just want to get your pull-up drink better, whatever it is, it's a great accessory exercise to do uh, when you have time. So give it a try, let me know how it goes, and let me know if you can, you know, start standing, maybe just one, and then slowly bring your, oh, I guess it's not that bad. That's how I want you to see you get into it. Don't use the other arm. It's not, it's not that hard, so that's a little challenge. But let me know what you think, give it a try. Good luck.